So in the last video you saw me polish the headlight, but now we're actually gonna do some LED interior light and it'll upgrade your Jeep so you can actually see inside at night. Let's get started. For the first step, what you're actually gonna wanna do is go here to your turn signal and this little switch here, turn it off. That makes sure that all your interior lights are off while you have the door open. That way you don't burn your hand while you change these out. So the first light we're changing is actually going to be the dome light in the rear. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sit in here. So it's going to be that light. You could use special tools and I'll link those down below in the description, but you don't need them. An easy way to do it, just use your Jeep key. Um, stick it on the side here, pop it on the other side also, pop it, and that's it. And like I said, you wanna make sure these are off so you can take them out. Just use your key, and there it is. Now the old one is out. Now sometimes with this, these LED lights, they're not going to fit perfectly, so you might have to do some modifications. Like that, you see how it's like loose? What you wanna do is pinch these metal tabs. Kind of bend them to make them tighter. Go ahead and push it in, and there it is. And to put this thing back on, one of the sides has a tab, and that tab you wanna point it towards the outside of the car. There's like a little button in there. So you just slide that tab in first, and then on the side here, there's some like clips. They go onto the side here. So slide it first and then push it up, push it up, and that's it. And since I have the switch off, it's not gonna light up. So this is the first light up. Damn, that's bright. That actually looks really, really good. So everything's lit up in here. That's actually really bright. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I got these LED lights from Flyride. He hooked it up. He let me get some of these for the interior. And I'll link his website down below so you can pick some of these up. Let's do the front dome lights. So for the front dome lights here, there's actually a Phillips screw right behind there. So you just take a screwdriver and take that screw out. And make sure you put a lot of pressure on it, like pushing it upwards, because that screw is on there pretty damn tight. And these lights right here, they, re they require a T10 bulb. All right, so I got that out. It's just some clips on the side. And there we go. Now we're in. It's kind of hard to see, but right there is the bulb. Let's go ahead and remove it. Okay, so it's kind of hard to do it with one hand, but there's some clips there. So all I did is I stuck my screwdriver in there and pulled it out. And yeah, they, they'll come out pretty easy. All right, so we got the new bulbs in there. I still haven't put the screw back in, but here it is, let's test them out. Damn, look at this. That brightens up the car so much. Yeah, I would definitely recommend some of these LED bulbs. All right, so now let's do the rear uh, light bulbs. So for the rear passengers, it's the same as the back. You wanna take your prying tool and kind of go from the Edges here. Okay, so that one's a little bit harder to do, but it'll still come out the same way. The two clips are right here and up here, and over here is the little switch for that light. Let's go ahead and get this light out. There it is. Then we'll put in the brand new LED. Just put the little cover back on, and that's it. So that light, my friend actually broke one time, so I think that's why it didn't turn on. I thought it was just the bulb, but it's Probably the switch, I'll have to look into it. But man, the Jeep is so lit up, with, even with three lights, look at that. Don't worry about that. Yeah, look, it's so lit up. Compared to that little dim light down there, this is so crazy. Well, that's it for today's video. Um, it's pretty lit in here, as you can tell. Anyways, check out the previous video I made where I polished the headlights. I'm trying to make this Jeep look good and run good too. I have an oil leak in the transmission area, I need to figure out and that'll be coming soon. But for now, I'll give this a like, put a comment down there, let me know what you think about the LED upgrade. I think it looks good. I do need to figure out that light over there because it's not lit up. But other than that, it's pretty bright in here, so I'm happy. You are